digital workflow has been critical to the changes and evolution in the way we do jaw reconstruction. What we have developed is a, a digital workflow that goes from the planning for jaw reconstruction right through to the dental rehabilitation side so that cancer patients in particular can receive these benefits. We can deliver much lower cost dental rehabilitation by using the 3D printing technology. One of the misconceptions is that we're 3D printing jaws and that's not the case. We're 3D printing anatomical models and guides typically made of nylon that can be sterilised that enable us to do the surgery more accurately and more precisely. So those models are used for us to work out what the defect is going to be and how to access it. And the guides enables us, us to cut the bone in exactly the same location as what was in the digital plan. And it's allowed us to be more accurate and more precise. I can't replicate those good outcomes time and time again without their digital planning. So we do occlusal based planning where we prioritise the location of the dental implants as our first step and then we will modify the bone position to ensure that we can achieve the best compromise between the patient aesthetics and the dental rehabilitation. So the time frame to surgery from diagnosis depends on the pathology. So if we've got a cancer then we want to be operating at a maximum of four weeks from the time of diagnosis, um, but ideally two weeks. If it's a benign tumour or a, a benign condition, then we've got more time and that gives us more flexibility in the type of uh, approaches that we can use. We try to, as much as possible, enable patients to leave the hospital with a uh, restored dentition. So that means that we try to deliver cases that are done as a jaw in a day or using other approaches that enable us to, to place a denture at the time of surgery. We know that if we can restore people's dentition earlier, patients will have better quality of life. It really has quite significant psychosocial and economic consequences for patients. The cancer treatment is the priority but that doesn't mean we can't do the dental rehabilitation. Often the two can be achieved concurrently. Radiotherapy is a big problem for us. It changes our workflows. It causes a lot of problems if there are complications, because if you have a wound that might open a little bit and they haven't had radiotherapy, it'll heal. If they have had radiation, it can set up a very problematic sequence of events. It's unavoidable in some cases, but we really do think about which patients need it. We don't apply it liberally without considering what the negative effects are. And it's an important consultation between the patient, the surgeon and the radiation oncologist to, to understand the benefits and the disadvantages. So the, the surgery can be more conservative, but it sometimes can be more radical. Because you've got a digital plan that we need to follow, if we found at the time of the operation that the cancer had grown or that it was bigger than we thought it was, then we have to change the plan. And then that will have a flow on effect to the reconstruction. So by definition, sometimes our surgery is more radical. You know, it can go either way. It, I think the most important thing is it makes you think about it. You know, surgeons do a lot of training, but once they're trained, they often just turn up on the day with little thought about what's going to happen and do what they do. And that's not good. That conversation, the collaboration is really valuable and making me reevaluate the way I do things all the time is very important. I think one of the great things in, in medicine and dentistry is continuing education and that it's just ingrained in what we do. I am looking forward to the Congress. These sort of large conferences are great from that perspective because it's a great opportunity for us to share the work we're doing and to learn what other people are doing and to, to upskill and to be educated on, on you know, what's happening. <laughs>